Alright, guten Morgen. Wir möchten gerne nach dem Messeplatz, Messe Nord, bitte. Ja. Das ist das beste German, das ich habe. Das ist excellent German. <laughs> That guy was a manic with driving. <laughs> Drove like a maniac. Am I allowed to get in? Yes, yeah, now I am. Thank you. Okay. So, I need to speak to Oliver Coxan, who is the head of Secure Land Communications of Airbus Defense and Space. Luckily, I know exactly where the booth of Airbus Defense and Space is located. These are different locations from Airbus. And as a matter of fact, if we talk about square meters, they don't have the biggest booth. But if we talk about square meters in general, of exhibition space where they are also having the networking bar, their own booth, um, it, it's huge, it's huge. And there's a lot of focus from this company on critical communications and the changing environment in critical communications. What I see from Airbus Defensive Space here, you have a very nice booth, but the booth is teared apart actually, more or less. You have different sections, you have the apps ecosystem, you have the solutions there, you have the, the, the um, theater over here. Um, I get a feeling with all of the new influences of Airbus Defensive Space with the app development and so on that the company is changing a little bit. It looks like Airbus is going from a very formal company to a more uh, to a company that is more adaptive to new technologies, new entries, young people into the company, in different phase. Is that correct? That's correct. That's correct. Does not mean that we are somehow uh, forgetting about our our root. Okay, yes. uh, we are dedicated to mission critical. Uh, activity, which is critical communication business, and we are dedicated to our public safety customers, so we keep that, it's part of our DNA, but moving, uh, moving toward the, the hybrid technology with more data, the MCS, mission critical services that we are developing, it's true that we are more and more application or application as a service oriented than we used to be in the past. So the, the, what you see here is uh, the, the consequence of that. Yes. And there is one point which, which we are extremely proud is the application ecosystem. So we are, it's a space on our booth that we give to application development company that we have selected through an hackathon and the, the first two, the first three, they, they, they get the right to come and to showcase exactly. their solution. It's, it's free for them, it's an opportunity for them to be here and to, to, to just to capture more attraction in the market. Without this ecosystem, all the, the nice device offering capability for video, data transmission, etc. without the app, okay, what does it bring to the, to, to the end user? So there is a need for the app and we are supporting the, the application development. Sam Fanwick is going to be the dispatcher today. Okay. okay, so sit down. And, and he's going to, uh, to, to manage the situation today as a fire dispatcher. It's about the situation at the metro station where there was uh, some sort of explosion. We don't know what happened. So the firefighters were deployed to the, to the environment, to the situation. Um, from the dispatcher room, then we are connecting to the 360 degree camera from the firefighter. And we can notice things while they are busy, while the firefighter is busy opening a door or saving someone, we can see things around and communicate with other groups. Maybe we can communicate with the paramedics and also the police. So this is the scenario where the firefighters are busy, but we can see everything around them so we can help them a bit more. The train looks empty, but there's something on the station platform outside the train. <laughs> This is so weird. It always looked like Sam is searching for something, but he's really into virtual reality in his own world, managing a situation at a fire. So basically, this is what Sam is seeing through his virtual reality glasses. Uh, that's what we see here as well. Yeah. Interesting. How was that, Sam? Yeah, good. The only thing is... So 
So the next stage is the App Developer Center here at Average Defense and Space. This is pretty impressive actually. This is different, yeah. is it? It's different. It's different. It's a new way. Exactly. Airbus is doing business. Uh, it's a nice, community. refreshing way, actually. Definitely. And now I'm going to present you. Um, hey, you might know them. Intelligence on wheel. It's a new. They won the prize, right? They won the app challenge, or not? Exactly. Yeah, you, you won the app challenge. Morning. Yeah, can we still congratulations, <laughs> Thank you. Andreas? Yes. Thanks. Yeah, we, we had a kind of contest um, in last February and they had the best solution for the new tech launch app. That contest you can see over here, that's a video being shot at the Critical App Challenge. Take a look here. Uh, there's still uh, a dangerous situation for track workers today uh, in construction sites to be hit by trains actually. There are certain uh, people taking care of that or uh, uh, in addition some um, safety uh, system solutions. Uh, but still there are a lot of accidents. For instance in the UK in 2015 there were, there were about 55 uh, track workers hit by a train. Uh, and so we came up with a solution. It's a combined Tetra LTE radio that receives position information and speed information from trains in the vicinity. Uh, it re receives this information from LTE network, but also from Tetra network, direct uh, communication, DMO mode, from a train when it is approaching. Uh, when it's coming within a few hundred meters of the track worker, and sometimes they are alone actually, you know, inspecting, inspecting the track, um, they will get an alarm uh, and will be warned that the train approaches and in this way they can move uh, to the side and, and de-escalate and, uh, and avoid to be hit by a train. Very important feature of our approach is that we uh, use this direct communication and we do not rely on infrastructure based systems. So this application is actually one of the applications uh, at Airbus Defense and Space here at CCW. They got a super program for app developers to develop apps around the tactical on the bat radio. Nice to hang out here, to be honest. It's a cool atmosphere. Okay, so how easy is it to get app developers um, connected to Airbus Defense and Space to your program? Because I'm, I understand people should be queuing for that or not. Yeah, actually, we have uh, we have the smart risk and there's a lot of developers are joining us. But you know, in this business, this is not consumer market. We are not looking for a large number of developers. We're looking for really developers who understand business and understand customer needs to deliver professional application so we are i risk um, for me personally i receive a lot of lot of uh, requests but we are trying to find really the one who can deliver something to our customer can pick and choose yeah okay let's say the pick and choose but in a positive way exactly. we find the right developer that complement our offering to meet the best uh, to meet the uh, customer in the best uh, way I mean, they meet. and that makes perfectly sense uh, you, you just cannot accept every single app developer to your smart wish program you need to understand really what is necessary for the end user the few core application of Airbus Defense and Space has also been renewed. Uh, Tori is going to give us a little bit more insight about the new development of that application for MVNOs. We are launching new version of the view core here and, and, and it's providing the capability to measure the user experience from the devices, what, what the PMR operator is, is, is using or what, what the end users are using. And, and kind of, of course there are SLA contracts with, between the network providers, but this gives for the, for the service operator the capability to kind of measure how, how the users are experiencing. And, and, and this is aligned with the current view core, which is today available for Tetra networks. And, and this is just a adding few extensions and, and new layers. That's the 
price, right? Yeah, absolutely. Thank that's you that's Thank the price you. for the debate radio. Everything. You must be very happy. We are not only happy, we are extremely proud of that. Yes. But it's uh, one of the devices which is part of our hybrid strategy and we are extremely proud uh, of this recognition because it's a unique product uh, combining a Tetra uh, and a smartphone, an uh, Android smartphone. So yes, I'm more than happy, proud of getting that. And that was a good move to bring the Labat into this industry because a few years back the product wasn't there. You had probably with the company a vision about how where it should go to. Um, but the company was also for sale at that time, two and a half years ago. We haven't seen anything happening yet. Uh, and, and what is the status on that? Because, you know, everybody's yeah, looking at Airbus from that perspective. Before answering this question, just to comment on your first point. We have always, always been convinced about the hybrid evolution strategy for the public safety network. And I do, we started this, uh, this uh, some uh, journey of developing an hybrid uh, solution portfolio five, six years ago, and I do believe that you are right. Uh, coming to your point uh, about uh, the divestiture of uh, the secure and communication out of the group, you know that uh, earlier this, this year we completed the deal for the North American business, which is yes. uh, primarily uh, the 911 emergency call landing uh, system activity. Yes. Uh, for the rest of the secure and communication activity, there is no formal communication of the group, so the situation is as it is, no, no major change. That being said, we are uh, developing further uh, the activity with the full support of the group, the full support of the group, and also I would say the, the trust uh, of our customer and the support of our customer. So as secure and communication is going well. Um, and even more than the support of the group, we are somehow strengthening the cooperation within the group, developing solutions together with our colleagues from other activities of the Airbus Defense and Space. And I'm sure that uh, you had the time, the, the opportunity to go and to have a look exactly. at yeah. our uh, different uh, exhibition uh, uh, spot here. And we do have solutions that have been created, desi designed, developed together with our colleagues. So we are reinforcing the cooperation within the group.